The last of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals is very broad, and meeting its targets are required if progress on any of the other 16 SDGs is to be achieved. SDG 17 aims to strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the Global Partnership for Sustainable Development. Strengthening resource mobilization, financial and other, both within one country and crucially between countries, including the full implementation of developed countries' plans to financially support developing countries, is at the base of improving global partnerships. Another part of this is assisting in the development of debt sustainability worldwide by putting in place debt management and debt relief strategies, as well as addressing debt distress felt by highly indebted countries. Trade should be encouraged by a number of means, including promoting a universal, an equitable multilateral trade system under the World Trade Organization and in line with the conclusions of the Doha Development Agenda. Increasing the exports of developing countries so that they increase twice as much as the exports of developed countries and implementing duty and quota-free market access for the least developed countries will also play a role in evening the playing field globally. Enhancing international cooperation in scientific fields, increasing the amount of knowledge shared willingly and constructively, and improving access to technology will also all configure into SDG 17, since technological disparities and scientific secrecy hinder the whole globe's ability to be sustainable and peaceful. This focus on cooperation can be further specified with other aims of SDG 17 being to promote the development and diffusion of environmentally sound technologies to developing countries on favorable terms, including on concessional and preferential terms, and to enhance the use of enabling technologies, particularly communication and information technologies in developing countries. In terms of policy, governments and international organizations all need to improve the coherence of sustainable development policy and macroeconomic policy. At the same time, leadership of individual governments should be respected and time should be given for policies addressing poverty, eradication, and other issues of sustainability to be implemented domestically. Enhancing global partnerships, enhancing capacity building support to developing nations, and promoting action at all levels must occur not just for SDG 17, but all of the SDGs to be fulfilled. Before the downturn caused by COVID-19, progress on financial cooperation was middling, with more investments towards LDCs in developing countries being made, but with the biggest economic burdens still being shouldered disproportionately. The spread of technology and the investment in capacity building was steadily increasing in 2019, but the pandemic has once again widened disparities between nations. Progress on SDG 17 has been severely handicapped by COVID-19, with world trade being expected to drop between 13 and 30% and a loss of $100 billion from the global market. However, it is in times of worldwide crisis that multilateralism and global partnerships are the most important. All governments at all levels should be cooperating to fight the virus and provide support for those affected. Despite the troubles being faced by every nation, SDG 17 is a call for global cooperation that should not and cannot be ignored. The race towards sustainability is not a sprint, it is a marathon. And no matter the setbacks, efforts should still be moving forward to try and make a better and healthier future for Earth and all its inhabitants.